Why is it leaking? Well, I don't like that. I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Andy Land. It's your girl, Andy. And today's look, if you can't already tell by the title, is a very affordable, fun, bright, vibrant look. I wanted to show you guys that you can achieve a flawless beat on a budget. All the products that I use in today's look are from the affordable side of Ulta. You can get some of these products at Target, your local Walgreens, CVS. So no high-end products whatsoever, not even my brows. If you would like to see how I achieve this look on a budget, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, like this video, and keep watching. All right, y'all. Eyebrows are already done. Check out my eyebrow tutorial if you need help with your brows. I use my Ruby Kisses pencil from the hair store for the cheap 99, okay? Because we honestly, the Ruby pencil, Ruby pencil, the Ruby Kisses pencil has been doing great. I've been using it daily at this point, so don't sleep on the hair store, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Plumb It Right Back Serum from NYX. This, um, is a nice little plumping serum. Kind of rehydrates the skin, the face. So I like to use it and let it sit. So I'm gonna use. So I'm going to go in and do my eyes while that kind of hydrates my skin because it has been a long day and it's the end of the day. So I want to make sure my skin is nice and supple for when I do my face. All right. So for eyeshadow primer today. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with the Conceal and Define Concealer by Makeup Revolution in the shade C12. I'm gonna take a little bit of this to the eyes. Kinda drag it out a little bit. I have a look in mind. I really wanted to play with the Juvia's Place Culture Palette again. So, trying to give y'all a look look, okay? You always wanna make sure when you blend out your eyeshadow base, whatever it may be, primer, concealer, that it's nice and smooth. If it's not, you will come off patchy and your eyeshadow will have patches in it when you're trying to blend it out. And you don't want that. And so we're going in with Juvia's Place's Culture Palette. I kind of want to do another bright, fun look. These colors are all super pigmented. And I think I want to do like a turquoise look. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm gonna go in, oh, this is horror, this is horror jaw. All right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Afrobeats. It's this turquoise shade up here at the top. And I'm taking a smaller, a smaller tip brush. Um, I got this from Amazon, that's it. And I'm going to dip that into that shade and I'm going to create a triangle on my outer corner. So I'm just going to pat that triangle together. So I'm going to take Shaker, this blue right here. And I'm going to use a light hand, light being the operative word here, and I'm gonna try to define like right here. Using the same brush. I am blending this like on top of the first shade we put on, Afrobeats. And give it a little bit of dimension. Yeah, I like that. And next I'm gonna apply the NYX Glitter Primer to my lid. I'm gonna be very careful about where I place this because wherever I place this, that glitter that I'm gonna put on next is going to stick. So you gotta be precise and you gotta take your time. Because ain't nothing worse than glitter where you don't want it. So I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid. Okay. 
for glitter I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this shade Yoruba which is the shade right under this turquoise shade it's nice green turquoisey shimmer and that is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna take the other side of this flat brush Side I use. Okay. I'm going to take the other side of this flat brush and apply that. Got a nice thick coat on here. I'm just going to pat it on my eyes. What y'all think? I think it's dope. Alright, we're going to do the other eye. My eyes are done for right now, so we'll come back to them after I'm done with my face. Um, to prime my face, I'm going to also go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Take this all over. And then I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me Spray. Mm. Kid dokey. So for foundation, I'm going in with two. Um, those of you who are not new to my channel and have seen my previous like affordable looks will know this combination. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless in the shade 340 Cappuccino. And I'm also going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in the shade 11 Amber. I think this is the one I use. I hope so. I'm just gonna take a pump to the back of my hand of each. I'm honestly not gonna use all of these. Well, this doesn't have a pump. I'll just take a little bit. But I feel like when I mix them together, they kind of create like the perfect foundation shade. So, take my little foundation brush. I'm just going to. that to my face and then I'm going to take my Morphe brush the E63 and I'm going to blend that in just pat 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 patting motions all over the face now again I'm not going too close to the eye because I want to make sure I clean that part up with concealer and I don't want too much product buildup. Alright, I'm going to spray my face again with the NYX spray. And I'm going to pat that in using my sponge. I thought this was my elf sponge, but I don't think it is. It's definitely a lot more purple than I remember. So if it's not, I probably got it from Marshall or something. But it is damp and I'm just pressing over my entire face. For concealer, the first concealer I'm going in with is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 45 Tan. And the reason I, I used to use this concealer a lot, but I kind of stopped because the doe foot is like severely small. If it would focus, it's like a lot smaller than a lot of my other concealers. And it's really hard to get a lot of concealer out of here. And at times I can find myself having to dip back in a lot. But it is a good concealer. So I'm gonna apply this underneath the eye and help use it to help clean up tighten up my shadow conceal around the mouth and anywhere else that I may have some darkness but like you see how many times I'm like dipping in here like sheesh all right I'm gonna use my sponge to blend today um, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna blend the center of my face and then underneath my eyes. Blending with a sponge is definitely quicker, although it's not 
as full coverage so if you want a fuller coverage I definitely would suggest using a brush um, honestly I can achieve a flawless face with both so when you lose control of your concealer just take the bottom of your sponge and pat it back down To highlight, I'm going in with the same concealer I used on my eyelids to prime. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C12. I'm just going to take that right under my eye. The first concealer um, that I use is to literally conceal, hide any dark spots, um, even out some blemishes, provide a little bit of extra coverage that I didn't get from my foundation. The second concealer is to actually highlight and add that brightness. While I let that sit, I'm going to contour using my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Katsina. Ooh, I almost forgot what I was doing, Lord. Take that right on my cheekbones. That was a lot. Oops. To my nose. A little bit right there. Okay, I'm going to blend out the contour first using my NYX blending brush. I look a little crazy understandably I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just blend together the edges of where the foundation and the contour meet see less crazy crazy less cra crazy less crazy <laughs> to blend out the contour of my nose um, you guys know, I'll take a smaller brush if I can find it. Here we go. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm just going to blend that up and into my brows. Now that my nose is blended, I'm going to go in with my sponge again and just pat down the center of my nose. Voila. And I'm going to blend out underneath my eye. If you let your concealer dry down a little too much, you can go in and spray your face and that'll kind of bring it back. I'm gonna go over everything with the booty of my sponge. I don't have a drugstore cream blush. I could use a liquid lipstick, but honestly, don't really feel like. <laughs> so, go over everything and blend, blend, blend. Today I'm gonna set using um, Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder. A finishing powder is different from a setting powder. This adds coverage. Lots and lots of coverage, but it's a bomb powder. I'm gonna use the shade Medium Deep 30. I'm going to set my under eye. Make sure there are no creases underneath your eye. I myself have a lot of fine lines under my eyes, so always make sure I blend before I set. You're gonna do just like you always do. Pat that powder in until it's gone. Oh god, this powder is so good. I'm gonna set anywhere you put concealer, anywhere that you highlight it. Okay, now I'm going to take yeah, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me powder, pressed powder in this shade 355. God, I have a lot of Maybelline products. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that pressed powder in 355 coconut and I'm going to use it to set the rest of my face. You don't need a lot. I find that when I set the rest of my face with a pressed powder it just kind of helps bring my face all together. Everything's nice and blended. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna bake using it's all worn off because of how much I used it. Cause I see if y'all know, y'all know this this girl right here. This girl right here is is that's me. So this is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Powder in the shade Banana, and I'm going to take that to the size of my nose under my eye. This powder is so fine, it just kind of like goes everywhere. But it gets the job done each and every time, okay? I'm trying a new bronzer. So I was at Ulta and I had seen the new L'Oreal Infallible Bronzers. So I wanted to try it. I got the shade 500 Dark. Hopefully it's not too dark for me. Um, but I wanted to try a new bronzer. So I'm going to try a new bronzer. I'm gonna take my fluffy Japanese brush. Ooh. I might have been too much. I might regret that. Yeah. All right, that's super pigmented, so be careful. <laughs> Definitely put in a little too much. That's nice. I don't know about the 24-hour wear, but we ain't trying it for 24 hours, so don't don't ask. Don't ask me to do that. It's already the end of the day. It's 7:35 at night p.m. I ain't doing all that. Mm -hmm. Have my little triple chin. <laughs> Cause God knows I'm gaining some weight, but it's okay, cause I look good. And then I'm gonna take the same bronzer to define my nose contour using a smaller brush. I also picked up the Juvia's Plays Blushed um, Rouge. This is the volume five. I don't know, something about that right there was calling my name. We're gonna use it. You know Juvia's Place is super pigmented, so I'm gonna try not to go in with too much, which is why I didn't really mind not having a cream blush because I know I was using this. But we're taking that hot pink shade. And, ooh, yes, Lord. Y'all see me? Take that up. Yup. That's, that's it right there. Take a little bit to my nose. You made me tone that down a bit. I was a little happy. <laughs> I was a little happy, a little bit. I'm trying to decide what to do with my lower lash line because part of me wants to do just like a white liner and call it a day. Part of me also wants to go in with a little more eyeshadow. I'm going to put my lashes on and then we'll go figure that out. I'm back. Okay, now that my lashes are on, I'm going to dust away my bake using my fluffy powder brush. No extra product, just pat and dust away. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and go over any harsh lines. My nose contour is really permanent. That bronzer is a lot more pigmented than I thought. So we're just gonna pat that on down. Blend in the blush, cause that was really pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my face again using the next spray. Just to bring the hydration right on back into the skin. Casket face <laughs> and pat that in with my brush. Okay. Now I am gonna do a white lower lines. I'm gonna take the jumbo eye pencil and white from NYX. I'm just gonna take that to my lower lash line. Whew. Ooh, child. Doing that with one hand is so much harder than it looks. Mm, I think I got an eyelash in my eyeball. 
Give me a second, y'all. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lash Stiletto and I'm gonna add that to my lower lashes. Careful not to get any mascara on that white liner. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place pencil in this shade Coco. I'm gonna line my lips. All right, I've been debating the lip I wanna do. I definitely wanna do a brown lip. I'm gonna take the Nubian lipstick by Juvia's Place in the shade Morocco. It's a pretty brown. It's not as light as that one that I usually use. But, yeah. These lipsticks are super creamy. I'm just gonna take my finger and blend that in some more. I've been wanting to try these. This is the, this is Milky Gloss um, by NYX. I've been seeing them, and every time I go into Ulta, I'm like, mm, do I want them, do I not? But. I finally decided to get it this time, so this is in the shade Milk the Cocoa. Oh. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh my God, I forgot highlighter. I can't find my ColourPop highlighters. I have two and I have no idea where they are. So we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna take the highlighting shade from the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, Light to Medium. I'm gonna take that shade here on the end because I have no idea where my highlighters are and I am about to stress myself. I'm about to go crazy. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and do my Signature exclamation point on the nose. This is a really creamy highlighter. I forgot how creamy it is. Which I like. Don't give me, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be creamy. It's just not, it's pigmented. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe my mirror is just down. I'm gonna do my inner corner. I definitely have to tone down my nose con nose highlight. My baby girl's looking crazy. <laughs> Take my foundation brush and just pat that down. Kind of blend it into the skin a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, let's look inspired. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna add some pearls. You know See that little, that's funny. <laughs> All right. All right, Alame gave me these little stickable pearls when I did her makeup for her birthday. So we're gonna add a couple. I can get the package open. Sheesh. Um, they are self-adhesive, so I don't need to add any glue. Um, I'm gonna take the smaller ones and I'm gonna add to to my inner corner because of my nails this makes it like so hard to do i'm going to try to use my tweezers oh. well we lost one let's try again we lost two all right clearly i'm not <laughs> equipped to do this i don't think i can use the tweezers we're just going to have to Pray and use. I forgot I had these little um, daughter tools that I got from Amazon. Technically, um, technically, technically, nail people be using them. I'm gonna take this little daughter tool that I got from Amazon and 
attempt to stick this to my face. I don't know why this is causing me so many problems. All right, this tool is not working, so. We got one down. <laughs> Wow, that took up. I lost like four of these before I stuck that one on there. Isn't that crazy? Everyone trying to stick it to the other side. All right. <laughs> Got those two on. I kind of wanted more, but the way this is giving me problems, trying to stick to my tool and to my face. Okay, so my camera died, real disrespectfully, but I got the pearls on. We're gonna leave it at these ones because I ain't trying to be fighting with these pearls for the rest of the night. Like it's already nine o'clock. I had to wait for my camera to charge, so. Um, all right, I'm gonna go get dressed. Oh wait, I lied. I gotta spray my face. So I'm gonna spray my face with the Milani Make It Last Matte Spray. It's gonna be my final set. Ooh, what did I do to my, why is it leaking? Well, I don't like that. I'm gonna spray my face with this spray. Let that air dry and then I'm gonna change it be right back. All right guys, so that's the completed look. I love how it turned out, even though, you know, the pros gave me a little problem at the end. I think it still came out super cute, super fun, super flirty. So if you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video. And as always, all the products I use in my face will be in the description box below. And thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. All right, y'all. Mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, mm, mm, mm. Face is all right, face is all right. No, my face is not already done. <laughs> Clearly, it's been a long day. I'm gonna put my phone on vibrant before I forget that.